Macbook News and we are down here at the headquarters of Intel. I'm here to meet Ken Kaplan and we're going to take a little bit of a tour around the facility. I believe we're going to start in the museum, so we're going to get a little update on, actually not, not an update, we're going to check out some retro gadgets. And then after that, I don't know what Ken has in store, so why don't we head on in and try to get inside. So we've arrived inside and here's Ken and Nisha. And we are looking at a classmate PC. A little is this a showcase or something? Well so anyways, so This is art to us. Art, this is yeah, this is art. So here we go, all the generations of the classmate PC. And then over here we have the newer ones. That turn into tablets. And there is the latest and greatest. Ever thinner. And ever thinner. Yeah. So this is pretty exciting down here at Intel. If you remember this, I certainly don't. The Altair. This was the one of the first original hobbyist computers. So if you were a geek's geek, you probably had one of these. If you were one of the original modders, this is what you would have had. It's uber geeky. But it did pave the way for this little guy, which is kind of what I had when I was growing up. One of these. So here's where they make the chips. You'll see the floor. That's similar to the floor that we have here. So there's this one floor, but then all the other floors above it are for circulating and sucking out the air to keep that one floor clean. Amazing. Actually, this is an interesting fact over here, that humans are the largest potential surface of contaminants. I didn't know I shed one ounce of hair, lint, skin flakes, saliva, and other molecules every day. Yowza. I guess that's why we wear these outfits. Sexy. Yeah, hi, I'm Daniel Pohl, research scientist at Intel. We're working on ray tracing. We have a demo running, which is Wolfenstein ray traced. So we're using this ray tracing algorithm in order to render pictures. We first define our 3D scene, textures, particles, soldiers walking, etc. And then the ray tracing algorithm will take that and create out an image for us. Here we zoom in a little bit in the chandelier model to see the glass oh. simulation we have. So while we move the camera you see a lot of distortions happening. And these are real-time refractions happening with the correct physical refraction index for glass. Mm -hmm. And all these things are just calculated with ray tracing. In the background, for example, you can see how the flag gets distorted here. Mm -hmm. And how many points of light are, are hitting the glass? Is it just one source or is it taking into account uh, uh, we the, have the, the light in sources? This room, in the room, maybe around five light sources. Okay. But what you see mostly broken in here is like the background uh, light that's coming from this wall is broken through this glass shader. Yeah, we also have some other special effects. For example, we also changed the car model in this game. So we made, again, a higher res version. And we also changed the shading. So this car is highly reflective, so oh. you see these soldiers walking by. And if you look close enough, you can also see them getting reflected here and here. And even in here you have reflections in reflections with multiple bounces. And all these things work pretty good mm -hmm. in a ray tracing environment. Very cool. I just think it's super exciting. There's blood pressure machines here to make sure everyone's calm. Yeah, very cool. Uh, this is a, actually we call this our TerraScale demo room. TerraScale demo TerraScale is a, a research program that we have looking into chips that can do uh, billions and trillions actually of computations per second. Perfect. And what's this demo that we're currently standing in? So this is a, a very simple example of what we call augmented reality. Uh, there's a lot of people working on this uh, currently. And what it is is basically merging the real world with the virtual world. So combining uh, you know, real-time video from a device, and in this case it's just a camera mounted on the uh, computer, with computer vision and uh, mm -hmm. the ability to render 3D objects onto that video so you can interact with it. So this here is our 48 core single core, or excuse me, um, single chip cloud computer, which is a chip that integrates 48 uh, Intel architecture cores onto one piece of silicon. 
And what it does is combines you know processors with network routers and memory, so that what you have is kind of similar to the architecture you would find in a cloud or a data center today, but mm. now embodied on a single chip. The idea that uh, being that you know you'll be able to in the future have chips that basically have a similar level of capability as to what you would now go out to the cloud for. Mm -hmm.